Hey guys, I think we're up. Let me uh, just watch the stream and see. Oh, the ad just started playing, so we're definitely up. Let me pop the chat out. We're playing Stardew Valley today. <laughs> Let me in on a fairy says, go away. Welcome, bro. Pop. I'll send a few tweets, and then we'll get going. I was thinking about, like, I was split between Pokemon and Stardew Valley today, but today at work I was just thinking about Stardew Valley the entire day at work. So I'm like, let's play Stardew Valley. Um, I'm going to try and get to year two tonight. I'm about halfway through the winter, so we should be okay. I'll just send these tweets out and we will begin. Just a second, all right. Click and one. Thanks for that retweet, by the way, Dynasty Star. Got happy with you for the episode of Your Lie in April with Kira Eco. Oh yeah, Kira Eco's your girlfriend, right, dude? How's that going? How's uh, Your Lie in April? I have the worst feeling about it. Hey, Kira Eco, how's it going? Okay. Um, it is day 19. First of all, I'm, I'm going to lower the uh, audio a little bit. Just a little bit. By the way, can you guys hear the audio in Stardew Valley this time? Because last time we could. I have the worst feeling about it. Hey, Kiri, how's it going? Okay. Um, it is day 19. First of all, I'm, I'm going to lower the uh, audio a little bit. Just a little bit. By the way, can you guys hear the audio in Stardew Valley this time? Because last time we couldn't. Um... But let me just talk a bit about what's going on. It's day 19. I just unlocked the bus last night. Well, not last night. Last night I played Pokemon with you guys. I mean that I unlocked the, the bus on, on uh, the 18th of winter. Ours in peace. How's it going, dude? So right now we've got Ars and Peace, Carrot Eco, Dynasty Star. Um, who else? Let's see. Let me you know a fairy, Silver Kitty, there's Naomi, and Torvar. Hello, wait, Silver Kitty, you're new. Haven't seen you before. Welcome to the stream, Silver Kitty. How's it going? So I don't quite know what to do with the bus that I unlocked, but I now have a bus. Like the skeleton in my hut, get more skellies? I think I will. Silver Kitty, hello. <laughs> Wait, Kira Eco, have you seen Stardew Valley before? This is like Harvest Moon to the extreme. It's just, it's like just a, a vastly superior Harvest Moon.
Come on, give me, give me milk. Give me milk. Ours in peace. Missed yesterday's stream and he's sad about it. That sucks, dude. We played Pokemon yesterday. I got through most of Silphco Tower. Um, what am I doing? That's right. I'm gonna put the milk in the eggs. I'm gonna make cheese and mayo out of it. Milk, milk. Egg, egg. Egg, egg. And eggs. Dancy Star says, By the way, I went to go watch your ta Let's Play of Tales of Vesperia, and... Oh god, it's as bad as you said. Yeah, dude, um... I'd just like to... Kind of pick your brain here, if you don't mind. What made our uh, Tales of Vesperia Let's Play in, uh, uh, bad, in your opinion? I mean, I know why it's bad, but I want to hear your thoughts on it, okay, dude? Trees are still growing just fine. Oh, I got a crystallarium as well. Oh, you got a did uh, harvest moon. Um, yeah, you will definitely lose your life. You will you will dump your boyfriend just to play this game. It's that kind of game, dude. Let's uh. Check out my traps down at the beach, because I have some... Whoa, guys, you, you okay up there? I, I have um, some crab traps down at the beach. And here's the town. And I think after I get the crab traps done, we're going to go check out what the, uh, the deal is with the bus. A nautilus shell? Gold! Jesus. Gold on the beach. Yeah, look at all this stuff. So, any of you who have played um, Sardew Valley before, what do I do with this bus? How do I get it going? Because it's just kind of sitting there. Dinosaur says the overlay wasn't very good back then, and I agree, it wasn't. Um, our commentary also wasn't very good. Yeah, I also, I agree. <laughs> oh. There's a person here now. Hello, bus driver. Penny sure does like old books. It gives it was harder than I ever was. Can I just get on? Let me on the bus. I'm glad. What are you glad about? Let me let me on the bus. I wanna go. Oh wait, is this the machine here? Five hundred gold to go to the desert? I guess I'll go. I mean, I, I want to see what this place is like. Let's try it out. Room. The size... Oh, it's it's not winter in the desert. But the desert's, like, right near the town. Like, the desert's right outside the town. I just left from the bus stop here, drove, like, a two-minute drive... Okay. This feels kind of earthbound like. You know? Oh, I got a golden mask. Weird. Oh, cactus fruits. This is like a whole new place to explore, guys. I've never been here before. This is neat. What the fuck is this? Oh, a cave. What's in the... You insert the skull key into the keyhole. It's a perfect fit. Oh, this is, this is the second dungeon, isn't it? Yeah, I recall hearing about this. Okay, I'm gonna come back here later, though. I might not be uh, 
be ready for this just yet. I want to explore a little bit more. Oh, it's a dinosaur. Its maw gapes at the desert sun. Even in death, it yearns for a taste. Sure, you're weird. Oh, it's an oasis city. Let's go in. Never been here before. Huh? Hey, Sandy, you're looking pretty fine. A customer? Hi, welcome to Sandy's Oasis. You look just like the new farmer that Emily wrote to me about. Then the bus line to Stardew Valley is back in service. I'm so happy. Ah, smile. Rhubarb seeds. Never seen these before. Well, there's star fruit. Beet. Oh, these are all like the the rare fruits for each specific season, right? Should I buy any of this, guys? What do you think? Dynasty Star. Yeah, yeah. You said that the commentary is night and day is an understatement. Yeah. Um. Here's the thing. Before we had the old camera, we had a shotgun mic with no sound system, we had absolutely no way to, to like, echo, like reduce any echo, so it was constantly echoey. We didn't really know how to let's play, and we had to manage like four people at once playing a JRPG. It was kind of a shit show, you know? Um, you are, uh, you are right in saying that, oh, and also we didn't, none of us knew how to edit back then either, so yeah, like, you gotta start somewhere, right? But if you go back and watch our old, our old tales of Vesperia let's play, it's kind of, kind of, kind of cringeworthy. In fact, if you go back and watch like, even something that we started like, we we got the sound system of like March of last year. Anything before that just sounds awful now. Have you guys noticed? Like, go back and watch the first part of Mario Sunshine. I'm actually very proud of Mario Sunshine as a whole. Like, it was a pretty good let's play, but. Those first episodes before we got the sound system up sounded brutal. Like Skyward Sword, I'm super proud of Skyward Sword. We had some great commentary, but just the audio quality was not there. Our first Let's Play was Tales of Vesperia. That was the very first one. And then the second one was um, Pokemon Fire Red, and the third one was the original attempt at playing Wind Waker. Arzen P says he hasn't gotten this far in the game yet, but the desert area in Earthbound was ass. Yeah, dude. Um, I think probably the desert was my least favorite area in Earthbound, man. Dynasty says, have you got a prismatic shard yet? No. Torvar says that's the obviously the orgy triangle. <laughs> oh, the skull mines are endless. Okay. Torvar is munching on an apple. I hope you got it from my farm, dude. Arzen P says, yep, also... Arzen P says, yep, also when the sound went out in that one episode, you really faced it with cam sound, really noticed. That was recent, wasn't it? That was like in a, a Sonic Adventure 2 episode, I think. Yeah, um, here's the thing. In Sonic Adventure 2, when that happened, it was the, the, the last episode of the third session. And it jumped over for like 10 seconds to, to the to the cam audio. That was with the new camera, I think. No, it wasn't. That was with the old camera with the old shotgun mic. So it was quite bad. It was very noticeable. Yeah, as far as I know, both ours and Peace and um, Kimiko are both... What the fuck's this guy's deal? Huh? They're both um, Puerto Rican. Welcome, my Puerto Rican. Welcome, my my Puerto Rican friends. I'm gonna be honest. I don't even know where uh, Puerto Rico is. No offense. I live in like bumfuck northern Ontario, Canada. So there's not much to do here, is there? I mean, I guess I'll go into the uh, the dungeon, but. Oh, Kira Eco, not Kimiko. Sorry, Dynasty Star. Oh, it's a big old slime. Look at this guy. Look at this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There are some weird enemies going on. 
Um, holy shit, guys. Did I bite off more I can chew here? Come on, just die. Just die, everybody. Everybody die. Oh, I'm getting destroyed already, guys. Holy shit. Wait, I can't kill? Oh my god. Okay, running away. I'm gonna die. Fuck. So, I immediately died. Emergency surgery. What did I lose? Oh my fucking god. A thousand gold. Lost an item from my backpack. What was it? What was here? I don't even remember. Yeah, I named my character Salute. I've never actually been in here before. I don't think. Okay, well, um... That was absolutely ridiculous. I'm gonna hoe this. Ha. So I'm just gonna go to bed and uh, forget that ever fucking happened. <laughs> R.I.P. Salute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I got destroyed down there. How do you, like... Prismatic shard. Well, where do you get the, the, the prismatic shard, Dynasty Star? I don't know a single thing about that. I guess I'll go scavenging while I'm here because shit. Nothing else I can do with today. It's kind of a wasted day at this point. fruit. Got a flower. Hold on a second. I could go to the hot spring just to try and avoid... Oh, what? Does the hot spring heal health as well? Holly in the luau soup? What does that do, even? Wait. Hold on, bud. What are you doing here? Oh, sure thing. You see, like, massive stitch marks from where the, sur the surgery happened? Ars and Peace says, if NTG gets internet famous and successful, would you guys move to the US? Probably not, uh, but I think we would move to Vancouver. Vancouver's kind of the center of Canada's indie gaming scene, so you probably head out there. Also, honestly, it's just a really nice city to live in. I've lived in Vancouver before. No, I haven't lived in Vancouver. I've visited Vancouver before, and it's very nice. Yeah, it, it did end up healing the, uh, the health... Uh, Dynasty Star. Right, there we go. Uh, to be quite honest, ours in peace, no offense, but I don't think I'd ever actually live in the United States. Will you remember us if you get internet famous? Yes, of course, dudes. 100%. I mean, here's the thing. Internet fame, or any kind of fame, only happens when you have fans that are that are devoted and dedicated, fans that, like, spread you around, help you go viral, you know? And I know that you guys um, definitely put in... I know that, that, like, you guys like us, and we definitely love you, and you contribute in that manner, so... Like, of course. Absolutely. 
Let me know if says, don't get internet famous or I will leave you. Let me know a fairy. If we get internet famous, there will be 10,000 trolls here. You will have company, dude. For your trollish ways. The goal is not necessarily internet fame, but it is, like, sustainability. Um, I'm not greedy or anything. I just want to be able to pay the bills with this stuff. That's all. Anything beyond being able to pay the bills with, with internet work would be just an amazing, uh, an amazing boon. Okay, let's just dump off all this junk. Oh, I got Iridium Ore. Nice. Sell and junk, sell and junk. Torvar says, I got a $3 donation on my stream once. I almost fell, out, fell on my chair. I feel like that's how I'd do. I mean, I haven't set up any kind of donations or anything like that because I feel like the stream probably isn't worth it at the moment. Um, frankly, I don't feel like we're doing a good enough job to accept that kind of stuff. I'm gonna grow another topaz. Wait, oh, I can't. It's just gonna keep growing it. By the way, I see you got four followers since yesterday. I recall it was 55. That's awesome. All four of you guys are awesome. And, of course, the rest of you who are also here are awesome. But you four newbies are newly awesome, I must say. Wasn't there something up here I can also grab? Yeah. Hey, bunny. Yeah, here it is. Ye old crystal fruit. Do you not have Twitch alerts set up? Um, I don't think I do, honestly. Um, like, these streams are more kind of casual hangouts. But I probably should set it up. I'll, uh, I'll look into it. I probably won't look into it till Monday, though. I have, like, a big Monday planned. Um, I have a lot of work, like, I'm, I'm working at, at my actual job, um, come tomorrow, but after that, Monday's gonna be a big day. Monday's the day when we put in the garden, uh, Monday's the day, there's the cheese, mayo, Monday's the day when we put in the garden, Monday's the day when, um, we, uh, or, not we, but Nicole works on the Hackintosh. Monday's the day when um well, let me get let me get all the all this junk out of here using the driftwood. Monday's the day uh, when we actually record a very large session of Banjo Tui, me and Dave. So yeah, Monday's gonna be a big day. We have a lot going on Monday. Oh, and Monday is the day when Naomi is gonna meet uh, Jess from the show. Jess, who did uh, Trine with us. Trine and Shadow Puppeteer and those games. Ours and Peace says, might want to put up donations while you guys begin NTG Live. Well, I mean, I guess technically we have donations. That we have, like, a, a PayPal if you want to donate. But we don't um, advertise it on the stream all that much. But I guess you're right in that we probably should. Okay, I need to get some bug guts for more bait. I don't know where to get it. There's geodes. There's ore. Stones. Ores. So mixed seeds and clay. And then monster parts. Here we go. Trying to coordinate play on Shadow Puppeteer and Trine was funny. It seemed like a nightmare. It was fun. I mean, I gotta admit. Um, Jess is honestly a really good sport, though. I really like having Jess on the show. She's definitely one of the funnier people that we have in the roster. She can dish out a good joke, and she can take one, too. I personally like that you don't 
clog up the stream with things like most recent donation and top donation other types of overlay. Just do it in the game. Yeah, I like. No offense to anybody who does that, because I know that there's a lot of people out there who enjoy doing that kind of stream, and that's really cool. Um, I don't think I'd ever do that. I think it'd just be the show, you know. And when NTG Live is a full thing, it's just gonna be the show, you know. Um, we will, like, like verbally announce donations, I guess, and say, hey, thank you, but for the most part, we're not gonna, like, just have, like, a giant scroll. What's this? I see you've entered the Skull Cavern. Well done. I've got a better challenge for you, kid. Make it at least 25 levels deep. I've got a mountain of gold to send you if you can do it. Your friend, Mr. Key. Alright. Thank you, Mr. Key, whoever you are. Trying really showed how good you guys are at co-op. Thanks. Oh, these eggs, man. Just eggs galore. Eggs all the time. Eggs, eggs, eggs. Shit, dude. Eggs. Tell everybody. As long as you talk to everybody in here, they'll all give you more stuff. How many people are on the roster? Well, I could, I, I could tell you about it right now if you like. There's me and Dave, obviously. Oh, wait, this is a fat pig now. What do I do? Do I slaughter him for something? Come on, piggy. Give me some pig milk. Okay, so the, yeah. there's, there's me and Dave. Um... There's Dave's girlfriend, Avery, and there's my girlfriend, Naomi. Naomi's actually already filmed a little bit with us, but, we, but it hasn't gone out yet. Oh, pig drops truffles when he's outside. Well, I mean, I can't put, I can't put them outside in the middle of the day, or because it's, it's winter, man. They're going to freeze. Let's make some cloths. Make some cheese. Um, get some shrooms. Pigs find truffles, I see. Yeah, it's true. Pigs don't, like, create truffles out of thin air. Um, but yeah. Um, Dave's girlfriend, Avery, my girlfriend, Naomi. Uh, we've filmed stuff with, um, with Naomi already, but it just hasn't come out yet. And Naomi's quite good, in my opinion. I'm not just saying that because she's my girlfriend. I think she actually is very good at it. <laughs> Truffles would be gross if <laughs> if the if the pigs found them. Yeah, I guess so. Um, who else? There's also Jess, and she's been around for some three-player games, and she's very good as well. There's um there's Cabbage, who's around for a lot of he he's, he was in Skyward Sword for a very long time which we unfortunately had to abandon because he can't make it to, to Skyward Sword anymore. But he did some of the, he did um, Super Ghouls and Ghosts with us for Halloween. He did um, uh, Santa Claus for Christmas. He's done like Mario Kart and Smash with us. Uh, he's been in a lot of like three and four player stuff. He did N Nintendo Land with us. Um, and actually, we have some upcoming series planned with him. Uh, Dave and Cabbage are going to do um, League of Legends, I think. And I think me, Dave, and Cabbage are going to do Street Fighter V. Once the, uh, the, um, what is it? The story mode DLC comes up for Street Fighter V, we're going to do that. Yeah, that Santa Claus game was awful, dude. You, you, dude, you, you didn't have to play it. We had to play that shit. That sucked. Um, there's also Alan. Alan is Dave, or is, uh, one of Dave's old friends. And uh, him and Jess used to be dating. They're not dating anymore. We're still friends with both of them, and they're both still on the show, but not on the show together anymore. Um, Alan did Tales of Vesperia with me, Dave, and Jess back when they were dating. And he's also done some other games. He's done parts of Wind Waker. He was on the uh, the Fire Red Let's Play for a little bit. He, um, what else has he done? He's done like a lot of the multiplayer games, you know, like the, uh, 
He's like our Smash Brothers guy. He really loves Smash Brothers. He's really good at Smash Brothers. Oh, nice. Pine Tower. Awesome. He's in a lot of stuff like that. And here's the cheese. And the mayos. Oh, yeah, I, have, I have garbage I can transform now, too, right? Um, so then there's also Alan. Um, there's Eric. If you guys, uh, recall Eric, he's done, um, a lot of the- he's like- he's like our Mario Kart guy. He loves Mario Kart. He's done all of our Mario Karts. He's been around for a few other ga games. And actually, I have, I have something kind of sad to announce. Um, Dave and Eric shot seven episodes of Binding of Isaac, and the footage got corrupted, so there's no more Binding of Isaac. But they will redo it in the near future. They had a lot of fun with Binding of Isaac, and you will see it um, in the future, but unfortunately, we lost the footage, and that's not good. Some cloth. Um, and previous permanent cast members were Beefy and his girlfriend, and they, like, did a... And here's the thing, I'm, I'm, I told the story already, I think I told the story multiple times in multiple different series, but I'm quite mad about it. I'll tell it again. Um, oh, I'll, ch I'll check the, um, the, um, the bundles. I just I have the fish tank and the bulletin board. I haven't done anything for the bulletin board, dude. I've done nothing for the bulletin board. Done a little bit of this. I gotta get apples and wheat. Yeah, I, I gotta make some, I gotta do, I gotta work on the bulletin board, but the fish is almost done. Um, Eric, however, um, he did all those things, he did, like, the Mario Karts and stuff. Sorry. Excuse me. Um, yeah, Beefy and Jess, they were, they're former. The story with them is that they, they did a big old song and dance about wanting to be permanent members of the show. And then they just bailed. And they never came back. They, they didn't want to schedule anything else, they didn't want to do anything else. And then, I mean, now they have a kid. And she, like... From, from what it sounds like, she kind of trapped him into having the kid, so it's not, like, a good situation at all. He's not happy with his life, but that's what you do when you stick your dick in crazy. Um, oh, yes, and there was also Eve. Eve was in several games. He, he did some weird one-offs with us. He did Metal Gear Solid. He's, like, a big Metal Gear Solid guy. Basically, after, um... Wait, where, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the dungeon, guys. I wanna get more bug guts, so I'm going to the dungeon. I, I don't wanna kill myself in the fucking... Um... In the skull cave, so I'm going to the regular dungeon. But... Yeah, Eve... After we did Snatcher... Like, I, I already didn't like Metal Gear Solid that much to begin with. After Snatcher was done... Um... I was like, I'm never playing Metal Gear Solid on this show ever again. Fuck that. And then, uh, Eve really wanted to be on the show, really wanted to play Metal Gear Solid, so we gave it to him. Bug guts. Yes. And then, like, after Metal Gear Solid 1 was done, Eve started doing other games with us. Um, I, I will also give you another, another behind-the-scenes look at something. Um, Eve's actually moved away. He moved away a couple months ago. Um, he still plans to be on the show, just it'll be less often. Because he does come here and visit a lot. So we'll still see him. But he's currently living uh, in Toronto, in the big city. Yeah, next time I go back to the desert, I'm gonna fish up the final fish for the for the fish bundle, dude. But for now, I'm getting bug guts for those traps. I want to just save up money, get enough money to do stuff when 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 uh, spring comes around. There we go. Yeah, no, no, yeah, Torvar. It was it was Eve who did uh, Metal Gear Solid, not Eric. Come on. Blah. Wow. 
This is a good area for bug guts. There's lots of bug enemies around here. Um, does Naomi like Metal Gear Solid? I don't know. Naomi, do you like Metal Gear Solid? You can chat or you can text. Either or. Whatever you feel comfortable with. Yeah, um, Kira Eco, this is, like, part Minecraft, part Harvest Moon. And if you like either of those games, it is the best of both of those games, man. Like, you you'll just be done. I was pretty addicted to this game when it first came out, too. I think Naomi can testify that I ignored her a little bit when, I when this game first came out. I was just like, I'm playing Stardew Valley. Don't. <laughs> just don't. Torvar asks, what is my least favorite game that you've done on NTG? Uh, I don't know, man. Like, that's hard, because, like, the good games are obviously good. You enjoy them. The bad games are bad, but they're funny, so you still kind of enjoy them. Like, Santa Claus was obviously fucking terrible, but I still enjoyed the experience of doing it. So I wouldn't call it, like, a worse game in any sense of the word, because it was still funny. Naomi says she's never played uh, Metal Gear Solid. It's like a stealth game, Naomi. You play as a spy, you gotta sneak around, you know, that kind of game. When this first came out, you didn't. I didn't like it the first time, as I recall. But you got attached to it. No, 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 no. I. When this game first came out, I. Uh, I liked it, but I didn't quite see the depth yet, and I had to like play it a bit and like min max a little bit before I really started to appreciate it. Because I'm definitely that, that kind of gamer that loves to min max stuff. That's just who I am. Um, Wild Arms? No, here's the thing. I'm, I'm enjoying Wild Arms. Like, I think part of the non-enjoyment of Wild Arms right now is because we hacked it. And we hacked it because we wanted to just get through the fucking game. And it was an, e it was an easy and obvious and funny glitch. Um, I mean, it's still not the best JRPG I've ever played. Obviously not. But, um, I'm still not, like, in hate mode for that game at all. I think, like... Probably the game that I liked the least on NTG might have been The Long Dark, which is a one-off we did that really wasn't, it wasn't that good of a game. It was okay, but I mean, it really lacked polish. Also, like, the, the Wii version of Oregon Trail, because, like, we thought that was going to be a hilarious experience. It was just bad. There was no real fun to it. It was just a bad, like, after the first five minutes, that game just fucking had nothing to offer. Mm, what else? Those are one-offs, though, so I mean, that's kind of cheating, like, that's... Like, hmm, what could be a series? I mean, like, Banjo-Kazooie Grunty's Revenge was pretty bad. We gave up on that game. Oh, wait, didn't didn't somebody ask, um, what games we've all gave, given up on? In the, in the stream? Was that you, Dynasty Star? I, I'm sorry if I, if I forgot your, your question, dude. Because I remember seeing it, and I was going to answer it, but then it just kind of scrolled off the screen and I saw something else. And I completely forgot. Come on. Come on, bugs. Give me bug guts. Come here. Bug guts. Thank you.
getting tons of stone down here. Which is nice, I'm using it to, to make stone paths all around the, uh, the farm. Around the old homestead. Dynastar, you're back. Uh, Dynastar, did you ask me if, um, like, like, what? Whoa, whoa, suddenly, suddenly bugs. Dynastar, did you ask if, um, like, what games we failed to complete on NTG? Because I think I might have an answer for you on that, dude. Look at all the pretty Christmas decorations. Yeah, you did? Okay, here's what I'll do, dude. I'm gonna round out the day. I got a few more things I wanna do. And then, like, at the beginning of the next day, I'll just pause for a second and give you the list. Because it's... We have it, like, itemized in a folder. It's, I can very easily just show you. Let me, um... Make... Bait. From all these guts. Look at all this bait, guys. All you need is bug guts and you get bait. Um, eggplant. Let's make eggplants today. In the preserve jars. No, no, don't eat it. No. If you want to make bait, all you have to do is tweet to Feminist Frequency. Ha 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 ha. Hub 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 hub. I'm gonna make a lot of money today, guys. It's gonna be pretty insane. Check this out. Check out all this stuff. I'm just going to throw some junk in the chest and then I'll call it a day. Hey Naomi, are you still practicing your clarinet? I'm just curious. <laughs> Torvar says, I expect you to sell your body. Hours in pieces, I wish I could say that IRL. Yeah, me too, dude. I would like a bit of a bigger payday sometimes. Well, tweet the, st tweet the stream around, share it around, and maybe I will get one. You should take those geodes to the black... Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, 10,000 bucks in a day. That's incredible. That's awesome. The empty inventory, yes, of course. Okay, I will very quickly, we'll, we'll, let me check out my, my luck first. Hey, okay, Queen of Sauce. Pumpkin pie! I learned how to make pumpkin pie. I actually make pretty good pumpkin pie in real life. Oh, spirits are annoyed today. I'm not going to go to the geodes to the blacksmith, dude. Okay, very quickly. I will, I will tell you, Dynasty Star, the full details... Let me open up the uh, the list here. Uh, anytime you're ready, there, computer. Okay, here's the abandoned Let's Plays in alphabetical order: Banjo Kazooie, Grunty's Revenge, Battle Block Theater, Costume Quest, Fallout 4, Fifth Element, Five Nights at Freddy's, Guacamelee, Kagero Deception 2, Killer 7. Knuckles Chaotix, Mario Golf Toadstool Tour, Mario Party 7, Mario Party 8, Mission Impossible, Nintendo Land, Papers Please, Snowboard Kids, Snowboard Kids 2, Sonic 3D Blast, Sonic CD, Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Super Mario 3D World, Super Mario Maker. The ones that we have labeled as complete are Banjo-Kazooie, 
DLC Quest, Eternal Darkness, Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland, Luigi's Mansion, Mary Gear Solid, Mary Gear Solid 2, Metal Gear Solid, Pikmin, Pokemon Fire Red, Pokemon Soul Silver, Shadow Puppeteer, Shovel Knight, Snatcher, Sonic 3, Sonic Adventure, Sonic and Knuckles, Star Fox 64, uh, st the original Star Fox, Super Adventure Island 2, Super Mario Sunshine, Legend of Zelda Links to the Past, Legend of Zelda Links Awakening, and Trine. Yeah, dude, Waifu Farm, that's awesome. Uh, the games I'm currently planning on streaming are Hearthstone, Pokemon Fire Red Omega, and Stardew Valley. Um, the current ongoing Let's Plays mean that games that might not be regularly updated right now, but games that we do plan to come back to, at least in the near future, are Banjo-Tooie, Borderlands 2, Charles Barkley Shut Up and Jam Gaiden, Life is Strange, Mario Kart, Metal Gear Solid 2, Muramasa the Demon Blade, No More Heroes, Rogue Legacy, Sonic Adventure 2, Super Mario RPG, Smash Brothers, Tales of Asperia, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, and Wild Arms. In the in the one-offs folder, here's what we've got in the one-offs folder. Here's all of our one-offs. BC's Quest for Tires, Boxel, Back to the Future on Super Nintendo, Castle of Shikigami 3, Days Before Christmas on SNES, Depression Quest, Die Hard on NES, um, Doritos Crash Course, Dragon Blade, um, what was the Easter, oh yeah, the Easter Bunny's Adventure, whatever the fuck that game was, Elf Bowling, Fez, Halloween Runner, Independence Day on PS1, James Pond on the Genesis, Kirby's Dreamland, the Leprechaun Arcade Game, Mario Tennis, um, The Morning After, Ni Hao Kai Lan, um, Pokemon Fire Red Omega, which we did a one-off of way back in the day, Oregon Trail, Pirates vs. Ninjas Dodgeball, Remington Great American Bird Hunt, Santa Saves the World, Slender, uh, the, the Splatoon demo back in the day, Spooky's House of Jump Scares, The Destiny of Zorro, The Duel on the, the James Bond, The Duel Game, the Long Dark, and The Santa Claus. Um, yes, I think I am going to do Papers, Please as a stream game. We have it on the abandoned list, but I might change it to a stream game later, because it sounds, it's like a, definitely a stream type game, you know? Can you explain why you stop some of the unfinished ones? Yes, we, um, Dynasty Star, we do plan to finish Tales of Vesperia, but it's not going to be with Dave. It'll probably be me and Naomi, because I think she'd really like that game. I think that's a game that's really up her alley. We'll probably restart it, though, like how we restarted Wind Waker. Uh, Dynasty Star, which ones do you want to know why we stopped playing? Um, a lot of the time, because they were just bad. They just didn't hold our interest anymore. Salute, how are you doing? Hope one hasn't been too hard on you. I see you for some hardwood. I need about ten pieces. Alright, I'll give you ten pieces of hardwood, no problem. Emmy LOL, welcome to the stream, dude. What's going on, bro? Um, I haven't seen your name before. Looks like you're a new guy. Always welcome new people. Tell me all about yourself, dude. What's the scoop? Will it be from scratch? Yes, Dynasty Star, it will be. Game, or er, Game Face Lynn. Lynn, how's it going? Lynn, have you missed me? Oh, you're a gal? Oh, that's cool, dude. Or dudette, I guess. Uh, Lynn, Tales of Vesperia is awesome. Um, I'm going to humbly request that you do not look up our Let's Play of it from about four years ago, because it is one of the worst fucking things we've ever done. And we're going to uh, redo it in the future. I'm very embarrassed of that Let's Play. <laughs> It is definitely not our best work. Um, Lynn says, how goes the farming? I'm awesome. I'm actually doing very well. I'll kind of optimize the way that this farm works. Let's make some beer, guys. Because we got wine, let's make beer now.
Yummy LOL says, I want to move my barn and coop. Put them in the worst places. Where'd you put them, dude? I do know that, like, if you don't... Like, if you, if you can wait on moving them, I do know that um, the game developer in the next patch is making a way to easily move buildings around. You should put one of those wines in the bundle that needs it. Yeah, Dart Nicer, I know that you're all about those... Uh, those bundles, dude. You love that shit. Work harder at the bundles. Ba 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 ba. I know, I know. I'll go do it. Oh, you caught my stream on Thursday night, but I was quiet. What did I stream Thursday night? Was that Hearthstone or was that Stardew? Oh, you can wait. Good. Oh, you guys didn't get the Dark Rye, then. Ah, oh, that sucks. I'm really excited for Pokemon Sun and Moon. Like, I'm more excited for Sun and Moon than I am for uh, X and Y, honestly. I don't quite know why, but I am. Oh, you have two extra Dark Ride cards, Torbar. That's cool. Where'd you get those? I like the bundles. I wish I got to it sooner in my playthrough. I didn't meet the wizard until fall. Well, dude, that's... that's rough. I got three and redeemed one. Omega and Alpha remakes suck. You think so? I, I, I mean, I kind of enjoyed them. Oh, a GameStop event. Lipman on my ferry says, Buying a new Pokemon is like buying a new Call of Duty. <laughs> um, you know, I kind of see the comparison. I'm offended by it. And I want you to check your gaming privilege, but I see where you're going with that. My favorite starter for Sun and Moon is absolutely the water starter. It's like this cool clown seal that balances like a ball in its nose. That's awesome. I don't usually like water starters, but I like this one. Yo, you didn't even finish off a of sapphire. Um... I see. Hmm. These are the Pokemon you get a few years in between games. Yeah, that's true. Is Sun and Moon considered a full next gen? Yeah, S and M, Sun and Moon, Arrows and Peace. There's, there's some innuendos there, dude. No, I, I gotta ask, guys: Is Sun and Moon considered a full next gen, or is it just like a part of Gen Six? I mean, in my opinion, there was no, there was no real big leaps between. Gen 4 and Gen 5. It looked like the same engine, they just made it look a little bit prettier. Yeah, okay, it is a new gen? Okay. Yeah, it, it, it looks like the same as Gen 6. Like, I don't see why it's a new gen. I don't know. Maybe I'm just an old grump. Let me get my uh, my fishing rod. We're gonna head out to the uh, the desert again, guys. Try to catch the sandfish to finish off the fishing bundle. I got a fiberglass rod. Now, just to just to completely wait, I think you can just catch it anywhere in the desert, right? I did get the easy fishing mod for this game because I absolutely fucking hate fishing in Stardew Valley. It is the worst goddamn thing in the universe. Like, it's not even fun or challenging, it's just stupid. So fuck that. Okay, let's go. Wait. Is the bus gonna kill the horse? Oh, just missed it, okay. This is my first playthrough of Stardew Valley. Yes, it is. Yeah, easy fishing mod. Not instant fishing, easy fishing. There's, a, I know there's a big difference.
Go to see the ass of the new puppy Pokemon. Oh, okay. Time to easy fish. Can you run over the force? <laughs> Let me know if fairy says, haha, Babby can't handle fishing minigame. It's not that I can't handle it, it's that I have a life outside of playing this game. Game face Lynn likes puppy butts. A scorpion carp? Jeez. That sounds weird as fuck. Wasn't luck bad today? Enjoy fishing all day. Oh, you're right. There it is, sandfish. Well, very good. Wait, do the cactuses hurt you if you walk into them? Nope. The Klefki of this gen. Dude, I don't even know what Klefki is. Man, all you kids and your new Pokemons, back, back in my day there was 151 and that was it. That would be gory if it could kill the horse, just boom. Oh man, I um I was on a bus once. Oh a golden relic, nice. I guess I'll dive into the mine a little bit. I was on a bus once, guys, and uh, it was like a Greyhound bus going between cities. And the bus hit a deer. And the deer basically evaporated. Like it was it was awful. Give me, give me the diamonds. Mew doesn't count, retard. <laughs> Mew doesn't count only because you couldn't afford to get one. You, uh, you pleb. Will you guys ever go to a convention? Um, yes. Just, I'd love to. Just, I don't know when. <laughs> because, I mean... We can't spend, like, money that we get from the show frivolously, right? Like, there's a lot of things we want to do with it. I mean, you guys have already heard me talk a couple days in a row now about, like, our future No Talent Gaming plans and how they'll cost several thousand dollars to implement. And we're just basically saving up. Like, there's no... Can I read this? No, I guess not. I mean, I think we'll probably just stick to, like, conventions in Ontario right now. Like, I've gone to Anime North. I've, uh, I've gone to Con Bravo down in Hamilton. There's actually a local con happening sometime soon in this city, too. Trevor, what's this lake you just linked? Oh, it's a, it's a butt. It's an animal butt. I didn't know you were a furry, dude. Oh. Cleffy is just a keychain? Okay, they're, they're, these are some dumb Pokemon ideas, I gotta say. It is taking forever to find this path downward, isn't it? I'm gonna assume that's because I am, you know, unlucky today. Oh. There's some weird music down here, dude. What was that? Rawr. Spicy eel. Jeez, the guy dropped his lunch. supposed to kill this thing. Jeez, whatever. It's a pretty fairy. I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you. Maybe not. God damn it, I'm gonna die again. Jesus Christ. This place sucks ass. 
Hold on, I'm gonna eat some of these carrots. I guess a root too. You don't kill it. Really? Okay, let's find a staircase down. There we go. Oh. Okay. I'll just uh, roll with this. Oh, look, it's a mummy. Ha ha ha. Ah, you idiot. Oh, 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 he's still alive. He's just gone for a bit. Is he gonna get back up like Legend of Zelda style? Yeah, here he comes. Where did he go? Dynasty Stars. Oh, I'm just gonna leave. I don't want to get annihilated down here. Dynasty Star asks, "Have you guys ever thought of holding polls to ask your viewers what they want to see you LP next?" Um, we have considered it. Um, however, here's the thing: we also have uh, donations. You know, if someone gives us a game and like goes through the, you know, spends their own money, spends their time to like mail us a game or to give it to us on Steam. We kind of want to prioritize that over a poll, you know? Epona is wondering where you've been. What do you mean, dude? You're on the bus. This is why I didn't die out there. Okay, I'm going to hand that into the thing. Oh, Jesus, that, that just kills you if you eat it. It's really spicy. Yeah, whatever. Let's just sell all this junk. I don't really need it. I'm gonna go fill up the, uh, before the day is out. Let's go do that, um... Oh, hey lady, you're actually walking around today. My front yard's a mess. Well, how about you get off your ass, your trailer park fucking ass, and clean it? Now how about you stop sitting on, like, crates for a couch, or having a new TV perch on top of an old TV in your, in your shack of a living room. Execute whose evolution I can never understand. Yeah, I'm the same way. What is execute, man? Alright. We're gonna put in the sandfish and be done with it. Boom! Oh, five dish over the sea. We did it, guys. Now the only thing left is the bulletin bundle. When we're done here, we'll return to the other world. Oh, looks kind of nice. Yep. Can I have that star? Give it to me. Give me the star. The yeah, execute's supposed to be. Oh, da da da! Execute's supposed to be coconuts, yeah, I figured that. How do you get coconuts from eggs? It's probably a translation error. Hold on a second. Oh, wait. Game Face Max is here now. Hey, Game Face Max. Um, your girlfriend was here and she left without saying goodbye. Okay. And now you're here. You can see the yolk. That's right, you can see the yolk. Oh hey, Lynn, you're back. Did you were you like on Max's computer for a minute? Man, Lynn, one of these days, like, we gotta go to, uh, we gotta go to Nova Scotia. You gotta come here. We gotta hang out in real life, in, in scary real life. 
play some actual video games together. Like, do an actual real-life crossover rather than a Skype crossover. I'm watching on my phone, so I can't have Twitch and another window open. Oh, I see, I see. Are you, like, in bed? Oh, look what they're doing. They're gonna unclog it. Pokedex has referred to them as seeds in some gens' Pokedex. Yeah, well, Pokedex is, is goofy. Oh, it can make a Crystallarium. Gen 1 Poke designs are too deep for you. Yeah, lots of money. Pokemon logics. Coconut trees come from coconut eggs. Well, dude, just like people trees come from people eggs. Oh, you're visiting your parents. No video games at mom and dad's house. That's not allowed. Oh, look at look at all these eggs. What should I even do with all this money I'm generating right now? I don't even know. All this YouTube money. Grimer throws you for a loop. Why is that? Oh, I can shear. Give me some wool. Okay, don't run away. Oh, there we go. Come here, piggy. Oink. Oink. Still have my 3DS, says Game Face Lynn. I never leave home without a gaming device. Well, I mean, it's a good practice, I guess. I uh, generally bring a laptop whenever I go back to my parents' house, that's for sure. Oh man, these indoor crops are doing nice. The greenhouse is pretty good. This was a good investment. And all the trees are growing nice too. Well, I mean, they're just sticks in the ground right now, but there'll be trees later. Down to the beach again. So, Lynn, how goes all your recording right now? I know that you've been doing a lot of recording for, um, for your channel as well as for BLG. How's all that going? I will be forever miffed that I haven't been able to, to record with either of you guys in such a long time. Oh, Kira Eco. Um, Kira Eco, let me know I'm a fairy is the resident troll. Just make sure to feed him every once in a while. I know everyone says don't feed the trolls, but it's good to feed the trolls a little bit. says it's been going well. We have quite a bit backlogged. Um, do you have a lot backlogged for your own channel, or is it for BLG as well? Does Ian have a lot backlogged? <laughs> let me in, my, let me in I'm, a, I'm a fairy, says in this exact voice, it's not trolling, it's my sincere opinion. Stop harassing me. <laughs> Don't worry, dude. Everybody loves you. Deep down. Oh, yeah, I can open the trash cans. Nothing's in there. Let's give him the, uh... Ah, new reward.
Wait, give me that reward. Give me that reward. What is this? It's a fucking raccoon. I'm sure Black Light Attack would love that shit. Hey, Torvar. Torvar, let's let's send Black Light Attack a picture of the raccoon scarecrow standing up somewhere once like spring starts. Out of the way, Mario brother. Dynasty Star says, by the way, thoughts on what anime I should watch next after on my own now that I finished the Asterisk War? I don't even know what the Asterisk War is, first of all. I feel like you should watch some anime that have new seasons going since I watched them. These are season 2 of Gate, season 2 of Noragami, season 2 of High School D&D, and soon season 2 of Food Wars. I haven't watched anime. Aside from One Punch Man, I haven't really watched much anime. It's my eternal shame. Feed the troll, eh? Do like Brussels sprouts. Ours in Peace is recommending Log Horizon as an anime to watch. You guys know your animus. I don't know any of them. <laughs> Black Light Attack says, I photoshopped the, the, the Rack Attack emote onto Raccoon Mario. Dude... The rack attack emote is like one of the best things Black Light Attacks ever come up with. Like that is just a genius, genius emote. Gameface Lin is recommending Erased and Haye what is it? Haiku? Not Haiku, but Haiku. How about I watch Log Horizon? If you watch, is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? Um, what the fuck is that? Is that anime, dude? <laughs> How do you get emotes on the Twitch? Um, you just have to write, uh, like here. Ours in peace. That, that, uh, that raccoon face is the rack attack emote, which is basically just saying, rack attack but with no space so it'd be rack attack capitalization uh, is important when putting in an emote so make sure to do to capitalize it properly let me go on the horse yeah man rack attack It's it's a really good emote. Like I was surprised at how well that turned out when he first made it. Also, I think the reason that it became a, a universal emote is because Black Light Attack got hired on at Twitch TV. It was actually really cool for a while to have like a friend at Twitch, um, and then he's no longer working there just recently. So, womp womp. I'm gonna go sell this boot. This rubber boot. I don't quite know what I should be uh, doing at the moment, guys, in Stardew Valley. Twitch is shit. You know, Twitch is kind of shit, but I mean, Hitbox didn't really take off, so I can't. Oh, this just happened. You can't really switch over to Hitbox, it didn't really take off. Hi, Sloot. I'm not sure what, what causes this boulder to disappear. The stream is flowing from deep within the mountain. Gasp. Hey, do you see that glistening in the water? Yes, that's quality ore. The flow of water must be carrying it out of the mountain. Okay, so we're gonna start, like, panning for golds. You know what this means, right? You can pan for gold. Yep, yep, yep. Extra pan in my backpack. Excellent.
You ever see or glistening in the water? Use that pan and see what you find. Da 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 da. Hey, can I get back on my horse, please? Jester says that is it wrong to pick up a girls in a dungeon is an anime in the same genre like Log Horizon and Sword Art Online, which I have seen. However, it doesn't have the VR. But still keeps would be game mechanics. Okay, I see. Um, what was I doing out here again? I'm gonna check out the quarry just in case there's some new rare ores in there. I got a tool. Check this stuff out, dude. This is that Aquarium Marine? Yeah. Like I said last time, it's always important to clear the quarry out. Just in case some more rare spawns show up. And they don't get overwritten by what's currently out here. A chewing stick? Oh, it's an artifact. And so is the prehistoric digging tool. When does Gunther close at the museum? Like 5 o'clock? I can probably make it on horseback. So, Lynn, if you're still there, I'm kind of curious. What new games do you have coming down the, the game face pipe? Ancient Ho. Might be four. Uh oh. We'll find out, I guess. Don't get caught, don't get caught. Nope, still open. Wait, yes I do. Oh, I can't. Oh, I already donated it once before. All right. Should have used the L O Z treasure find sound. I just did. Da 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 da. Herp, derp, derp, derp. Yeah, guys, what should I be upgrading right now in the old farm? I uh, I don't quite know. house? I mean, I, like, I'm kind of just waiting for stuff to happen at this point. Like, I keep collecting money every day. I can't let the animals out. Um, waiting for crops to grow in there. Can't do anything with the beehives just yet because I'm still waiting on it. Oh, nice. Three big old beers. Beer, beer, beer. Let's put something else in there. I could put more beer in there, in fact. I didn't even sell the boot. God damn, I forgot what I was even going over there for. I'll head back there in a minute. Back to the guild we go. But yeah, um, I don't quite know what to do. Like I'm, I'm growing the crops in the in the greenhouse. I'm. Uh, Preparing as much as I can for for spring where I can actually start using the beehives and some of the cropland. I don't quite know what to do. Otherwise, I don't know. Hmm. Greetings. I'm just kind of maybe I could like upgrade the house. I guess that could be the next thing I do. Hmm, maybe. I think I have more than enough wheat to last the rest of the winter. Do I like Soul Eater? Um, what is it? I've, I've played Soul Calibur and Soul Edge, but not Soul Eater. That's a new one for me.
These are all cells, that's wood. Everything else I guess, I guess is gonna sell it, I guess. Okay. Is there a drugs mod for this game? Drugs? Oh, it's an anime. No, I've never seen it, dude. Sell, 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 sell. Okay. Well, I might call it today, guys. I know it's only been, it's been an hour, 20 minutes, which is longer than yesterday. But, I'm doing a month-long stream challenge, so you get to see me every day, but it's just that whenever I stream after a work day, and like a long, shitty work day where I work right until closing, I only want to do a short stream. I only want to do a short stream. I'll probably do another short stream tomorrow, another hour, hour and a half. And then Monday night, I'll do a long stream, okay? But uh, I think I'm going to call it for today. I think that's it. Yep, that's it. I'm feeling really tired. Mm. So, um... Stream a good game for once. Does that mean I fairly well? Let me know if fairly tell me what game you want me to stream. Okay, I am intently listening to what game you want me to stream right now. All right, you have my full, undivided attention. 